Yo, this is Rock Clay. We're going to run some errands in Little Burn today. So if y'all want to come with me, let's go. Starting this is Passport on the road Welcome aboard abroad. We are about to be on the I-75 South. If I can get this camera to stop recording in the front of the car. Alright, we're getting on I-75 South at Howard Mill Road. Alright, we're going to Howard Mill Road. Oh yeah, now on tonight's podcast, we're definitely going to have a conversation. With the so-called native that lands in they seem to like to come on my videos and try to downplay the things I say or try to ridicule me. I got a few choice words for them. That's going to be on tonight's um, Tribal Edge Radio. Hope y'all join them. Check it out. Oh, it's real bright right here, so... I'll be back with something more easier for you guys to see. I am about to listen to Rasha, Rasha, Richie. Come on, so. And like I said before, I don't know if that can be banned for using this material. Well, not banned, but I don't know if I can be demonetized if I if his um if his voice and his radio show is playing in the background. So I don't want to do that. I got a long ride ahead of me anyway, so I, anything interesting happens, I'll make sure I record it. Hi, right, peace. Alright, I just got on the 85, and I'm on my way. I think I'm going up to the 285. That's where I said my next exit would be, and they said that's nine minutes away. Let me see if I'm going to go at the front of the car as usual. This, this camera seems to always want to. Alright, there we go. Alright, so yeah, this is just the I-85 South. Hey, like I was saying in the, the video that I was describing Georgia, or describing the Atlanta, the Metro Atlanta area, uh, the 285 is the circle that goes around, um, I would say, Midtown Atlanta. Then we have the I-75 and the I-85. Both of those goes north and south. But they just go like the I-75 goes north up into the the western uh, metro Atlanta, and the I-85 goes north into the eastern northern part of Atlanta. So northeast is the I-85, northwest is the I-75. But when you get downtown and you're you're breaking off those two highways again, the I 85 will continue going down southwest and the I-75 goes down south um, east. So if you can picture that in your head, it's like a circle with, with two with an X, like a two X's, one X going through the middle. Uh, the top right side of your X is the I-75 and it goes down to the bottom left side and the top left side of your X goes is the I-75 and it goes down to the bottom right side which is the I-85 I'm sorry which is the I-75 south so I don't know if that made any sense maybe I'll do like a little bar graph for you guys if if someone's interested in it and then uh, there's one more major road around this area and it's the I-20 and you the I-20 goes straight through the middle of this circular hemisphere but it goes from south I'm sorry it goes from east to west 
with the east side being old dirty Douglasville and the west side, you you can take the west side of. I'm sorry, I did that backwards. The west side is old dirty Douglasville, and you can take it all the way east, all the way pretty much to the Atlantic Ocean. So it is one line that is going through the middle of Metro Atlanta. Um, I'm pretty sure I confused you guys more than I explained anything or made any sense. So, like I said, I'll do like a diaphragm or some type of um, chart so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll just put it inside this video. Alright, but anyway, I'm still on my way up to uh, Lil Burn and... What is the name of this? This brow. Um, can't even remember. Alright, when I, when I come back on later, I will remember the name of that route. But it's um, in Lil Burn area. Alright, later. Alright. We are what we own what is called uh, Spaghetti Junction. Well, we get up on the 285. And we get on the I-285 East going towards Augusta. Right now is at the top of the circle on <laughs> on the 85, going on to the top of the circle of the 285, and then I'm heading east. Keep 
track of all of the channels that are that content is being presented on. So, but he said he's on like um, he's on like Spectrum and, and Comcast, some channel. But you probably just got to look for the Young Turks Network. But in order to catch him live, which is the best time to do it, it is between seven and ten, and that is on WAOK thirteen eighty. All right, now, like I was saying, I am now on the I-78. This is going east, going east from the 285. So, that can give you some idea of how far off I'm going from Midtown. I hope all these streaks on the screen aren't being picked up as well as I see them in front of my eyes. Once I get up, once I get out of the car, I will wipe down the window. Guys, like right here. So what I'm gonna do now is listen to some of my podcasts. I'll probably go on Clubhouse. So, like I always say about this time, if anything interesting happens on this drive toward a uh, little burn, not a little burn, little burn. <laughs> Um, I'll let you know, and I'll, I'll start recording again. All right, peace. All right, y'all, I'm back. I, um, well, I was just on the 70, I was on the I-78 East, and it winded up, like, just letting the highway let off onto Stone Mountain Highway, so... Right now, we are in Stone Mountain. The people from Stone Mountain, they had a little problem with me with the way I mentioned Stone Mountain on the video about the um, worst places to live. Especially just recently, I I just got a real scathing review from some young lady that, that felt that I misrepresented Stone Mountain. Now, first of all, I will admit that um, I did say that, um, Stone Mountain is where the Ku Klux Klan was formed, and that is not true. I do need to correct that. I mean, I can't correct it now. It's already a um, signed, sealed, edited, and delivered, published video. I know it seems like people be wanting me to go back into an old video and change things. The most I can do is erase things out of a video, but... Even that's even that's a process, and then that makes a lot of things go out of order. So I don't really want to do that. I mean, I'll just take it as a mistake as on a video. It's not it's not really a big deal. It's it really ain't. But anyway, that was that part of the video. But that's not what she was upset about. Really, what she was upset about didn't make any sense because I was the one that said that um, the the clan and um, racism and white supremacist in power is something that you didn't have to worry about in Stone Mountain anymore. But her whole complaint on that video was like as if I said the Klan and white supremacy is the reason why you have to worry about uh, living in Stone Mountain. And, then, and it didn't make any sense. It was the opposite. I said the opposite. But anyway, that's all on a tangent. Um, anyway, yeah, but I will admit that I was wrong to say that it was born there. But now, is it significant in Stone Mountain? Yes, that Stone Mountain is one of the most significant places um, where the um, the clan represented. Uh, they they had a little bit of a falling out with with like the entire clan team, the Ku Klux Klan. I don't know what you want to call them, the gang. The jackasses, whatever they would you want to call them. Um, they were a little bit like disbanded and things when they were they did start out in Tennessee and they were disbanded and things like that, but their next base of operations was definitely Stone Mountain, Georgia, and and it was the most significant base of operations that they've ever had. So just because I made the flub of saying that it started in Stone Mountain does not mean that Stone Mountain is not significant to that um, that crew of jackasses. 
All right, but that's what I wanted to say. Um, I'm right now driving on Stone Mountain Highway, and as you can see, when what, what really disappoints me a lot about dri- driving around America is looks pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah. A uh, Wahoo House, a Dunkin' Donuts, a Walgreens, CVS, a Walmart, and and some car dealerships. Is oh yeah, of course, a racetrack and coin truck uh, gas stations. And if those aren't in your town, then you have a BP or a Citgo. But um. One thousand feet. Turn left on Hewitt Road Southwest. But other than that, um, a whole bunch of cities in America have been pretty disappointing because you you're thinking that you're gonna go see Turn a, left a on new Hewitt culture Road or whatever because you're in a different city. But like I've always said, if you're not going to New York City or or I'll say California or Miami. Florida, and, and and I do mean Miami, Florida, because if you go to other cities in Florida, it's going to be the same thing like this, and yeah, but as I was saying, everything is pretty much the same, and it really gets a little, a little disappointing to me. People have like a slightly different accent, but we're all living the same life. I don't know what I was expecting, but... I would have liked to see something different. But I still say you get a good deal in Georgia, though, because it's like you're getting what the rest of the country gets, but it's probably it's a little bit more big city-like. In three quarters of a mile, turn left on River Mist Drive Southwest. And you get the little country parts. If that's where you want to be, like just away from everybody, you can do that. But if, and when you move out that far, you do get really low-priced homes and things. I, I don't think I want to live so far off from civilization. But, um, like I was saying, um, the metro Atlanta area, I believe, is a great deal as far as the cost of living compared to what they're willing to pay you out here. And you can see if you if you stack your chips right, you could get a pretty pretty nice looking house for a decent price. So uh, that's why I always get on these videos and I I say turn left on River Mist Drive Southwest. All right, let's see what this little neighborhood looks like. Y'all ready? Okay, so now I'm really I'm really serious about. Have y'all been looking at the sky all this time? Pretty much. Uh, this house right here is really serious about uh, Halloween. Yo, welcome back. All right, we're still in Lawrenceville. I just stopped off at some nice neighborhood. Um, so I decided to start recording while I'm snacking. I'm gonna make my way to the next house for right. my deliveries, but and make a U-turn on Gloucester Park Fort Southwest. See, figure I'll let y'all see what's going on on Gloucester Park and Gloucester Mill Court. Yo, in the comments, can y'all tell me if? Y'all would like for these drive around Atlanta videos to be its own channel or just a part of the Passport Kings channel? Because Make I'm a U-turn on Gloucester having a really Southwest. then turn left on Gloucester Mill Drive Southwest. Having a really hard time deciding if that's something I want to do. I don't really want to start a channel from scratch because that's just so much hard work to get it like to be picked up and for the subscribers and views and for YouTube to suggest the videos to people, all that, all that stuff, man, on Passport Kings took me six years to build, so 
Can you please let me know if it's if it's really that Turn important? Left on Gloucester Mill Drive Southwest. All right. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, Y'all see this nice looking neighborhood? It is in Lawrence. Nine hundred feet. Turn left on Up Drive Southwest. From what I've seen of Lawrenceville so far, it looks really nice up here. Really nice, especially if you're going to buy a house. I would look at, I mean, look at this place. This is beautiful. So, yeah. The next time someone asks me, well, how's Lawrenceville? What do you think of Lawrenceville? I'm going to say, hey, I drove through it. It looks very nice. Turn well, left on Up Drive Southwest. If y'all have some information, inside information about Lawrenceville that you think I should include in my suggestion of people living here well, let me know all right y'all so what's up we are going into another hundred feet turn right on barndale drive another neighborhood in lawrenceville um it's called haywood lane that was the lane that i turned on um it's not as nice looking as that other sterile looking town that we were in but this one looks like it's been around for a little bit longer, like an older neighborhood. So this is probably typical, typical living if you buy an older house in Lawrenceville. Turn right uh, on Barndale Drive. On Barndale Drive. Because they don't know you, so I can't see why they want to start ya. It's a shame. Right, Frank, I'm right, aimed at an archer. All right, there's my spot. I'll talk to y'all later. They don't know y'all, so I can't see where they want to start y'all. Huh. Huh. Storm. Hang me out of something like a pushta. He didn't got niggas in Kenosha who be screaming at Scotch. Turn left on Hayward Lane. They don't know y'all, so. Alright, um. Alright, so we're getting out of this little neighborhood that was on Archwood, Archwood Farmville. Turn right on Arnold Road. In Haywood Lane. Alright, so I'm getting I'm going up to Arnold Lane, making a right, and I'll be back by the time I get to the next neighborhood. Alright. Okay, what do we have here? We are in the Deer Owl Cove neighborhood. Still in Lawrenceville. Um, um, some older looking houses, but it's still nice, really nice looking houses. I like houses with at least two store, two stories and clean ones, especially ones with nice clean grass yards. So I don't think I'm going too deep into this neighborhood for this delivery, but uh, I think you've you guys arrived get at your just, destination. The gist of what it looks like out here. All right, see y'all in the next neighborhood. I push the B and booyah, so rain coming to do ya. Well, anyway, y'all, I'm about to turn into Flowers Crossing, and the uh, neighborhood is supposed to be coming up right now, so I figured I might as well start the camera now so y'all can right on experience crossing. driving into this neighborhood at the same time as I do. Okay. Making it right? In 500 feet. Turn right on Vicksburg Drive. Uh, looks like they have a nice old tennis court over here. But, who cares? We're just trying to see how the house is looking like. Okay, I think. I mean, y'all can't look out from the right and the left unless I was to sit there and control the camera. Turn right on Vicksburg Drive. Would be very dangerous for me. Alright, so, okay, we're pulling up into the living areas here. In 900 feet. You'll arrive at 3065 Vicksburg Drive. Your destination will be on your right. But yeah, this is still Lawrenceville. And these are some of these houses. They look a little modern. Uh, more modern than the houses that I just left a second ago. But, you know, it's funny. I think as I continue making these videos, the more comfortable I feel. Like like what I think will, how I will present the video. So that's cool. All right, anyway, I see the um, the sun is shining real bright. Is it a camera? And I hate You've arrived, that destination is on your right. And I also hate how 
Um, and, I, and I hate when the camera keeps scrolling downward so y'all see more of my dashboard than you see the damn street. But then every time I scroll up like I just did, it goes all the way up in the air and then nobody wants to look at the sun. Speaking of sun, um, I don't know, the filter, it came off of my my camera, so I gotta get a new filter. So if you're thinking that things are a little too bright to be looking at, it is because I lost my filter, but I'll, I'll get one probably tomorrow. I'll order one for Amazon. Amazon Prime, that joint. All right, talk to you in a minute, but. All right, yeah, we are on, what is it, Beth? Bethwick, Bethwick Court. Uh, this is still Lawrenceville. Uh, some nice houses. Y'all know I don't like that right there. Y'all seen all them cars parking that driveway, right? Destination is on your right. <laughs> that makes me a little worried when I see a bunch of cars parked in the driveway. What is this, 1965? Yeah, I'm where I need to be. All right, well, y'all look around here, and I'll be right back. Fool you, but it's just not something that if you've been living here for a while. 
how that you want to continue living. It's really about time to move up if you've been here for a while. Man, I hate that y'all getting blasted out by that sun, but uh, this right now there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. I think by tomorrow I should be able to have it fixed. But all right, folks, we have entered into Snellville. Holy cow! We're taking it. We're taking these streets by storm tonight. Turn left on Webgen House Road Southwest. Oh, boy. I mean, Webgen House Road still is alive and well, even though we've left Lawrenceville and we went into Snellville. I wonder what what went on in the decision of naming that street Web, Webgen House Road. I think, to me, it sounds like there were four people that wanted to name the street and no one could decide who had the power or the... Who, who was in control? Who's the real person in control? So they was like, you know what? Let's all get one of our names. Look at this foolishness. Let's all uh, get our name that we wanted it to be, and we just put them all together. <laughs> and we would name it Web Gin House Road. Yes. That's what they did. All right. But um, just to let y'all know that uh, Lawrenceville goes into Snowville, and you can... You can take that. What you can take Web Gin House Road to get there. All right, that looks like a really nice neighborhood behind that gate right there. Now that that was the chunky looking houses that I've been talking about, but I'm not going in there. Right, that was a nice one. <laughs> yeah. Turn left on Lakeshore Drive. That's pretty right there. trying to record some houses. In 900 feet, turn right on Glenmore Lane Southwest. But yeah, I have um, something that I've been thinking about over the last few minutes. I always tell people that I don't really ever smoke weed because I think like per the way that people describe themselves when they're smoking weed, it's like I think that way all turn the time. Turn right on Glenmore Lane Southwest. So what I was thinking about it for the last couple of minutes was, wait, let me let me make this turn correctly. And hold my camera still before it goes sliding off. In a quarter of a mile, you'll arrive at 2284 Glenmore Lane. All right, y'all see that pink house right there? Yeah, that's the chunky that I'm talking about, like a, a lot of chunks of a house. Let me make sure y'all get a good view of that. So much glare. Yeah, it's like a lot of chunks of house all stacked into one. That's the type of type of thing I like. I completely lost tra you my train. In one thousand feet. My train of thought. Okay, I was saying what I've been thinking about lately was um, listen to this. All right, what's the next thing that y'all would do? You would go. Mm -mm. Who made that up, and where does that come from? <laughs> and it would be easy for me to just Google it right now, but being that I'm driving, it's a good thing because I get to speculate on stuff without just getting the answer immediately. So I'm trying to figure out who made bam, bam, da, da, bam, 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 because it's been going on. People, everybody knows what to do when that that tone comes around, and it's like, where did that come from? You've arrived at your destination. A little bad. Alright. And um I don't know, it's been going on for generations, years and years and years. Twenty two eighty four. Yep, this is my spy. Alright, yeah, I got to look at this nice chunky house in front of us too. And I see y'all when I'm riding around the next neighborhood. Peace. Today. You know, many have two or five people they work with, but the extreme is we have some creators that have 50 or 60 full-time employees working with them. In 400 feet, turn left on Innsdale Drive. As they build out their vision of media, and that's so, so exciting to me. Turn left on Innsdale Drive. This episode of Tube Talk is brought to you by vidIQ's channel audit tool. A sort of re in 900 feet. Turn left on Lakeshore Drive. Port card. For Turn 
Alright, my battery's dying out, y'all, but... 900 feet. Turn left on Watershine Way. We are on Brightwater Drive, about to turn left on Watershine Way, but this is a nice looking neighborhood. We are still in Snellview, Snellville, just came off of um, Gin House Road, Web Gin House Road, sorry, almost forgot the web, don't want to do that. But yeah, this is a, um... Turn left on Watershine Way. Okay, on then Watershine turn left Way. on Waterscape Trail. Yep. Oh, uh, we see the people working on the president residence club. Uh, so I guess this is one of those neighborhoods where you have to be. Uh, somebody. That turn left somebody. on Watergate Trail. Then turn right on White Cloud Ridge. Anyway, yeah, these houses are nice. These are nice houses. Big, nice, big, juicy. I don't want to say juicy, but nice, big. Turn right on White Cloud Ridge. Uh... Something to something to show off. This is a show off house. Right, I'm looking for eleven thirty. You've arrived at your destination. I wonder if it was in there. I think it was in there. I'm gonna go around this corner. No, oh, it's not in there. It's right here. All right. Thank you. See you next. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Talk to. Once again, this neighborhood is White Cloud Ridge that I'm in. And we are in, we're still in Snellville. But, you know, as, as I've been around Metro Atlanta for a while, you can find a neighborhood that looks like this in pretty much any county, man. Uh, the counties and the, the cities in Turn left on Watershine Trail. Then turn right on Watershine Way. Oh, shit. Is that Mike? Yes, that is Mike. Mike. It's good, Mike. My buddy Mike is hanging out in this neighborhood of Snellville. He's right off of, what is it called? Gin House. Mike Myers is right off of Web Gin House turn Southwest. Right on Watershine Way. If y'all wanted right to know how to find drive. them. Mike is one of my favorite horror movie characters. I don't know why. I don't know what makes him. I know what it is. He don't like hanging out in the damn bushes, in the damn, in a dirty old lake. Right on Brightwater Drive. Or some old crappy little town. A quarter of a mile. Turn right on Web Gin House Road Southwest. That's Jason. Jason want to hang out where it's like no, nothing and nobody's around. There's one. One class that hangs out out there when they go on their their little getaways and stuff. Other than that, other than that, he never has company. Freddie only in your dreams, so that's you can't never live where Freddie lives. And who else is it? The Texas Chainsaw guy. That guy, he he's up in in the real. Turn right on West Road Southwest. You can't tell them apart from the people that really live there. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like it's like he's home being a nut but um but Mike Myers Mike Myers likes to hang out in very nice looking neighborhoods and I can appreciate that I can appreciate a serial killer who has a sense of community you know and and he knows how to like be a part I mean because I mean the, the girl that's always trying to kill him I think that's his sister so he's actually a real part of this community and it's a nice community. People look like they have jobs and hot cars and nice houses. So that's why I'm more of a Mike Myers fan than I am. A fan of the other murderous bastards that be on movies. Anyway, we're turning back on Web House, Web Gin House. Turn road. right on Montclair Way. And then we're going to turn right on Montclair Way. I'm pretty sure this battery about to die. I got 10% left. Let me see if we can make it all the way to Montclair Way. Without this guy dropping dead on me. Uh, and I'm running out of memory too. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Yeah, team, we might be getting to the end of this tour of Snellville and Lawrenceville. Because I'm running out of memory and I'm running out of battery. Battery I can fix just by plugging the joint back into the car, but. Uh, memory 
I could probably fix that too by erasing some videos that I have. Yeah, so maybe we ain't getting to the end of our Snellville Lawrenceville tour. Damn, just still it instead of filming everything except what I wanted to film. Okay. Now that was the lake in Montclair. In 900 feet. Turn left on Dunmore Drive. Oh, Dunmore. Shout out to Mike Land. We are going to Dunmore Drive, y'all. That is his production company, I believe that's what he named it. I mean, I, I believe that's the name of his production company, Dunmore Studios. And, right, we are on Yo Street. And look, you, your production studio is on a very nice looking block. Turn left on Dunmore Drive. I'm turning left on Dunmore Drive because this joint is niggity niggity nice, y'all. In 900 feet, you'll arrive at 2682 Dunmore Doctor. Your destination will be on your left. This lady actually called it Dunmore Doctor because it's Dunmore DR, and which everyone should know is Dunmore Drive. But more than everyone should know, a navigation map should know that and be on I wonder why the joint stopped recording. I didn't press nothing. Maybe it overheated? Maybe so. Alright. Alright y'all, um the next the next drop off I have is seven minutes away. I know that this battery ain't gonna be able to get that. But uh, leaving this neighborhood I wanted to record um the rest of the Dunmore Studios block because um, this is a, a real nice right neighborhood. I really Drive. like the, um, the colors of the house. I'm sorry, Dunmore Studios Drive. Oh, that's funny. She says drive now, but she said doctor before. Turn right on Cromwell Cove. All right. Then so turn right. Past Dunmore. We are on Cromwell. Um, once we leave this little neighborhood, then um, I'm going to probably start charging my, my camera. So y'all can... I mean, in your world i'll turn be right back in seconds but for then me I ain't, right gonna be able to I ain't gonna be able to record nothing for a minute so if i run past a really nice neighborhood hopefully i still got some power and i will start erasing my sd card right now turn right on dunhaven glen but then yeah. turn left on montclair way yeah i only turn left on montclair way just wanted to just wanted to leave this street or leave this little neighborhood but get a good turn left on Montclair look Way look at it because if you dudes are baller status and you're ready to move down to Snellville I think this neighborhood might look in even better in a quarter better. of a mile turn right on Webb Gin House Road Southwest this neighborhood might look even better than the earlier one that I showed y'all All right, y'all, this was such a unique looking block that I wanted to record it, even though my energy's down. And um, what is this place called? This was on Tree Lane again. I don't know. I guess they got two places named Tree Lane. I remember before when I um, got to Tree Lane Road, I made that whole analogy about Turn it. Right. So I was pretty sure that I've been to Tree Lane over here in Snellville, but this was Tree Lane again. But, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a Turn right weird on looking lane. area. And it is right next door to Piedmont East Side. Oh, another thing I wanted to say, when I was in that, um, the last neighborhood that I was in, the school district over there is Brookwood. I know people always ask me about the school district, and being that I don't have any young kids, I really don't pay it any mind, but I know that when you are buying and selling homes, even if you don't have kids, um, the, the school district that is close is very important to the value of the house that you're In thinking about buying. Feet. Yeah. Turn left on Medical Way. See, there's Piedmont. Um, East, Piedmont Eastside is right there. This is still in Smellville, so you got to get rushed to the hospital. You know that. <laughs> Piedmont Eastside is there. And, um... Yeah, like I said, Brookwood. And to say, if on medical way. what I know about right on presidential circle. 
what I know about schools is they usually are uh, paid for by the taxes in a neighborhood. And if Brookwood High School is uh, funded by the taxes of the homes in that neighborhood, then You're I'm thinking of Brookwood. Circle. I'm thinking that Brookwood is very well funded because that neighborhood was nice, man. So. In 500 feet. Turn left on Ronald Reagan Parkway. Ronald Reagan, not on Windbag. But, um, yeah, we turned it left on Ronald Reagan Parkway. As I was saying, the school district is... Turn Brooklyn. left on Ronald Reagan Parkway. She's just going to butt into the middle of what I'm talking about. Brookwood, to tell us my husband. Some old con man named Ronald Reagan, the original con man. All right, um, yeah. So that was what I wanted to say about that. And I don't know, probably the next video y'all see, unless I run into a really nice neighborhood that I'm like, yo, I got to record this and show it to y'all. Unless I run into one, I will be. The next thing you see is me riding home. I wanted to let y'all know, if y'all want me to keep recording this crap, to subscribe and like. Like and subscribe, subscribe and like, and press the notification button if you want to see more of me driving around neighborhoods in Atlanta, in metro Atlanta. Um, Midtown Atlanta, I'll probably get to it one day, but it's just such a hassle. I don't even feel like going to it. Especially to be trying to record nice things. I was in a neighborhood in Midtown, man, and I wanted to tell y'all about before I cut this off. It was a neighborhood. Turn left on Englewood Way Southwest. I'm sure it's probably some super, super rich, rich place, but there's a neighborhood in Midtown Atlanta around the Buckhead area called Long Island. And yes, it smelled just like the Long Island that's in New York. Man, that was one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been in any country, anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. That was, I mean, Long Island in around the Buckhead area of Atlanta is some nice, nice, nice stuff. And that is what I'll be working on moving into because my next step is going to be a big step. I'm not, I'm not moving adjacent anymore in my life. Everything's got to be going up, super up. As Cardi B would say, it's going up, 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 up till it's stuck. I ain't gonna get stuck either. I'm breaking glass ceilings and everything. Speaking of that, let's talk about let's talk about being humble. Or one thousand feet, turn left. The opposite of being humble, which some people will say, talk your shit, B. Talk your shit. <laughs> so. That's your two options, I guess, when you're doing well in life. You either can be humble, or you can talk your shit. In the comment section, y'all, can y'all please put down there what you would prefer a person do when they achieve goals? Turn left on Englewood Way Southwest. I think I just missed one time. Yep, I did. Talking too much. All right, but, um, yeah... Let me know, y'all. Let me know in the comment section, because maybe when I'm driving around tomorrow, I'll have Turn a left on Windsor Lane. spiel about that, because it's a touchy subject, but it's in not. In 900 feet, turn left on Windsor Drive. The gist of what I'm going to say about it is, it seems like it's always somebody that's, that then told you that you couldn't accomplish your goals that will tell you to stay humble once you do. I mean, what, it's like, I didn't believe in you, but now that you did uh, do what I didn't believe in, I don't want to hear about it either. <laughs> that's, what, left on Windsor Drive. that's what a lot of people, I'm not saying everybody, I'm not saying everybody that uh, tells you to stay humble acts that way, but the majority of people I've heard talking about some you gotta be humble was the same people that was telling a person that they couldn't do it or that they need to stay in a lane or they shouldn't have tried nothing to do or thought outside the box all right anyway this this neighborhood sucks too so really ain't no reason for me to be wasting battery driving around here 700 feet you'll arrive at 2068 Englewood way southwest let's see what 2068 looks like before we cut y'all off 
looks funny. Random thoughts. That's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm creating something right now, y'all. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm creating it. All right, guys, we are leaving Seth Way. We're still in Snellville. Um, this is a pretty decent looking neighborhood, so I turned on the camera for a little while here. Yeah. Um, still got 12 megabytes. Turn Space left on left. Seth Way. Then turn right on Hutton Drive. But to be honest, my energy's gone for the day, so... Like I said, I'll be recording on the way home. Turn right on Hutton Drive. Then turn left on Danella Drive. See you dudes tomorrow. I think. Should take me a damn day off. Turn tomorrow. left on Danella Drive. Oh yeah, I do gotta go get that one. Nine hundred feet. Turn left on Cone Circle. I gotta go get that windshield fixed tomorrow, so yeah, I probably won't be driving around tomorrow. I mean, unless y'all wanna drop me into Bifid to get my window fixed. You for the highway, that is not me. right there. Don't mind her cutting my glass. I'm gonna get that fixed more. Alright, that is the house for sale today. Um, see you later. Alright, y'all, I'm headed home. According to my GPS, I will be home in one hour. Can you turn on Georgetown Way? Oh, there they go, recording all this why do they think that somebody wants to see it? Maybe that's just straightforward. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. I am one hour away from home. In 400 feet. Turn left on Natchez Way. I have a much more this memory card can grab. Looks like it can grab about two more minutes worth of footage. I'll put that on there, and then I'll put that on the video. Turn left on Natchez Way. There ain't much else to see. But yeah, again, thanks for joining me on my little road trip today. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you press like. Make sure that you also hit the notification bell. So when my new videos come up, you can always see them first. In half a mile. Turn right on Hillside Drive Southwest. But other than that, I will see you guys next time on driving around Metro Atlanta, Georgia. And I hope that you join me the next time too. I hope I made it entertaining. I know that the first one that I put up. A lot of you people said you liked it, but even myself looking at it, it was just, I turned it off. <laughs> I turned it off really quickly after I started watching 1, it. 1,000 feet. Turn right. That was because nothing was happening that was keeping my attention. And, it's, and the bad thing about it was I was on a crappy looking block. 
that street. Look at um, Karen walking that street. But that um, that neighborhood that I was in, it was really crappy looking. So that's something that would really make somebody turn off the video. And then I wasn't really capturing homes and stuff. It was like I was just Turn looking right straight on at Drive Southwest. Instead of seeing where people actually live at, instead of where people drive at. No one wants to see roads. We want to see abodes.